Hello and welcome to Arcadia Reptile, the home of progressive animal welfare products. My name's Dr Mike Leahy and I'd like to explain to you the importance of sunlight to reptiles, amphibians and invertebrates. Reptiles and amphibians use the power of the sun in an array of amazing ways. Being ectothermic or cold-blooded, they rely upon an external source of heat to provide them with the energy they need to move, feed and to digest the food that they eat. They use all of the terrestrial wavelengths of light, from UVA, which is primarily used to activate colour vision and to maintain healthy brain function, to long wavelength infrared. We call this heat. Did you know that it's thought that reptiles, being tetrachromats, can see around 100 million colours? This is in comparison to a human that only sees around a million colours but they must have access to the right levels of UVA to do so. And of course, reptiles and amphibians also require the more well-known set of wavelengths of light that we call UVB. UVB is a vital group of wavelengths of light that are used by most life forms as part of their life support system. It's a narrow set of wavelengths that start and maintain vital processes inside of the body that end up as vitamin D3. That's right, the famous sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D3 is essential for maintaining good general health and organ function, but it's also responsible for allowing the proper assimilation, storage and use of calcium. A lack of D3 means a lack of calcium. Calcium is one of the most plentiful elements on Earth. In fact, a wild animal would ingest calcium with pretty much every bite of food and every drop of water. Calcium is used to maintain healthy muscle contraction and of course it's required to maintain strong healthy bones. A lack of calcium in the diet can lead to the painful and avoidable group of diseases that we call metabolic bone disease or MBD for short. Vitamin D3 allows calcium to be used inside of the body in a regulated and effective way. If we undersupply D3, we undersupply calcium. But how do we know how much D3 and calcium our pets require? The good news is, as always, nature has all of the answers that we need. If we provide calcium in the diet, and recreate the average quantities of UVB that are found in the wild per species, we simply do not have to know. The animal's organs will regulate and use only what's needed and will store or remove the rest. The sun is balanced and largely unchanging. As such, every species has evolved a requirement for a level or quantity of UVB exposure in its home nation and for its behavioural cycle. If we copy the wild quantity, or index, of UVB in a safe and measured way, we will, by definition, provide all of the essential D3 that any given species will need. This will then allow the animal to assimilate, store and use calcium just as it would in the wild. Arcadia Reptile are passionate researchers into the wild environments of the species that we keep. We believe that mimicking the wild is the key to effective and ethical care of captive exotics. Arcadia Reptile Solar Recreation Systems will help you to provide your pets with all of the essential energy from light that they need as they need it. Arcadia Reptile only use the very latest research and technology. We use German-made lamps and we're delighted to guarantee the UVB output of our UVB lamps for a whole 12 months. My name is Dr Mike Leahy and I'm asking you to join in with the revolution, the Arcadia Reptile Revolution in Reptile Care. <laughs>